Okay, so our first quilter is Kay Whittington from Novi, Michigan, and she has a quilt called Maasai, and she used African beads, collie shells, and other embellishments. It's all hand embroidered and machine quilted. They want to see your jacket. Do a little turn. Okay, our next quilter is Diane Harden from Farmington, Michigan. And the title is, It's How You Look At It. She paper pieced, hand appliqued, and hand quilted. Very nice. Our next quilter is Catherine Wren from Dearborn, Michigan, and it's called Midwinter Night. It's an original design, and she used raw edge fused and stitched applique, fabric painting, and machine quilting. My, how beautiful. Next, we have Irene Corman from Livonia, Michigan. Hers is titled Rose, and it's raw edge and machine quilted. Thank you for sharing. Our next quilt is Audubon Christmas and it's by Mary Ellen Lauder from Fowler View, Michigan. She hand appliqued using wash away paper and it was quilted by Marsha West. This has been a really popular pattern from AQS and it makes a wonderful Christmas quilt. We have Sherry Wines from Pittsburgh Pittsford, Michigan. This is a whole cloth, white cotton material, flour and water. What does that mean? Flour and water resistant. You put flour on flour and water and you make a paste, put it on your material. Then you hurry up and draw your item on there before it dries. And once it dries, you're able to crinkle the fabric. And then once it's crinkled like a dry, like the dry desert, you put your, your paint on it and then your paint seeps through. And so whatever's not seeping through, you get your little designs on it. Wow, that's beautiful. So that's how you did the background. Oh, the whole thing. Wow. So she called it resistance. She drew the iris on with a, sharpie, a sharp object. It dried the crinkled areas then um, she has the round iris, pointed, dried, crinkled, round sky and leaves, and then she painted it. It's quilted and bound, and it's machine quilted, right? Yep, yep. Well, that's a different technique. Thank you for sharing that with us. Okay, Pamela Kloppenberger, Kop, Klop, Koppelberger, from Ith Ithaca, Michigan, and hers is Autumn Tree, machine pieced and quilted. Thank you. Sally Mankey from Arcadia, Michigan, and hers is called Penny Farthing Art Quilt, and it's Dresden Patchwork Turn Edge Applique, Fabric Weave, hold it up, Fabric Weaving and Embroidery Purse. So that's the title of, that's the type of bicycle it is, a Penny Farthing. Thanks, Sally. <laughs> Diane Kane from Auburn, Indiana, and hers is called Illusion, Machine Pieced and Quilted. Nice gradation of colors. All right, so this quilt was made by Linda Conway from Newark, Ohio. One from Ohio. My quilt guild, Heart of Ohio, had a quilt challenge. We uh, had to use our birth month for the general color, our birth month flower in the quilting, and since my birthday is March 21st, I used aquamarine for the sky and daffodils on the, in the applique. The result is a whimsical, I made it in scrappy applique class with Shannon Brinkley. And she says, I love the results. What fun. All right, this is Joan Dawson with her quilt called Stepping Stones and blue and yellow, and that's always a nice, a nice color scheme, isn't it? Thank you for sharing with us. 
Linda Jarose from Rochester Hills, Michigan. Hand pieced using paper piecing, hexies. I like the looks of the back as much as the front, so I just added a binding to finish the edge. And it hangs in my craft room and it, with the raw edge side out. Look at all of the hexies. I don't know if you can see this very clearly, but okay, so this is the side where she joined them. And now when you flip it over, all of the raw edges are visible. So it's pretty on both sides, isn't it? Thank you for sharing. Here we have Jerry Reese from Murrells Inlet, South Carolina. And this is called Shimmering Symphony, designed by Carly Porter. And she taught it in an online class on thread work. Oh, and you've got some glitz on this one. She used 1,087 crystals on this quilt. <laughs> Barbara Robinson from Irons, Michigan, did a study in circles and squares. My first abstract art quilt forced me out of my traditional piecing and appliqueing. My own abstract design where all the circles are fabric with squares and all squares are fabric with circles. <laughs> she machine quilted and machine appliqued. Nancy Myers is from Nuaga, Nuaga, Nuego, Michigan. And this is called Nature Photography. My personal photos were printed on EQ fabric. If you haven't ever printed on EQ fabric, that's my favorite too. Uh, she pieced it by machine for the Endeavors Online Art Challenge Group's theme of nature. Yes, that black and white really set your photos off. <laughs> Mandiara, Mendera, Menzera, from Clinton Township, Michigan. She's a part of the Great Lakes Heritage Quilters. And from a guild challenge, she made this using log cabin blocks, the twisted log cabin block. I used 54 triangle shaped paper foundation and my husband named it synchronized swimming. <laughs> so this is Lily Kangas from Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario, Canada. Ooh, you've got a bright one. It's called Jewel by Day, Star by Night. She used free motion quilting, thread sketching and crystal embellishments. How many crystals did you use? She didn't count. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Now, while we're waiting, would you like us to do this again? Yes. We will do this again. And in fact, you know what? We intend to challenge the next show to get more people up here than we did this time. So next year, we want to see more quilts. Barbara Waylock, Wallach. She says, all the work was done by a quilter. The method was by this quilter. She pieced on fusible grid, then quilted by machine. The materials used were from my son who sent them from an eBay purchase. He had made not realizing that I only wanted cotton. Oh, so it's all kinds of stuff. This is the only small wall hanging I have made. And she's got all kinds of satiny and fuzzy. There's satin, velvet, silk. A corduroy? Wow. So that was a challenge, wasn't it? Oh, the grid. Yes, have any of you used that grid that you can fuse onto? Yeah, that's great. And you know what, normally we wouldn't put those variety of fabrics together unless you were making a crazy quilt, would we? <laughs> Thank you, Barbara. <laughs> okay, Joy Lamphere from Muskegon has pumpkin in the mist. It has curved piecing. Mosaic applique by machine, machine quilted, and it was designed for teaching a class on this technique. Thank you very much. <laughs> Margaret DeNegro from Gainesville, Florida, that's easier. <laughs> 
she did high. Hold it high. She did tiny strings. It was paper pieced and quilted on a Shashiko machine. Wow. Now, do you all know what a Shashiko machine is? Well, it does quilt Sashiko. It, it quilts so it looks like hand quilted. Yes, yes. It just pulls the stitch, it pulls the thread different so that it looks like there's a space between. Thank you. Judy Esper from East Tannis, East Tannis, East Tawas, Michigan. She did some strip piecing. She used Ricky Tin's uh, cool kaleidoscope quilts pattern and it was long arm quilted. And what a pretty border. Ties all those colors together. Thank you for sharing. Carrie Steck from Woodruff, Woodruff, South Carolina, did Bricks Viking Kitty. It's fusible applique with thread stitching on it. Oh, let me see. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay, does anyone else have a quilt they want to share? Going, going, gone. Thank you so much for coming, and we will do this again.